<laughs> this is Bella. She's a normal ball python. This is Pumpkin. She's an albino corn snake. Okay. So first we need to have a snake. Snakes are formed with 212 to 464 vertebrae because their whole body is only made up of four different bones. Um, and humans have approximately only 33 vertebrae, so that's in comparison. Um, they have almost all the same markers as us. They have the stomach, the lungs, and the heart. Um, venomous snakes also have ven venom glands in both sides of their both sides of their mouths. So when they bite, they their fangs go in. They inject the venom, and then they slowly dies. Okay. Next slide. Okay. They have an extra body part called the windpipe. Windpipe sticks out while they're eating or swallowing like a big, big fry, or they're constricting the diet. As I said, this one eats rabbits. It just started eating rabbits. Um, this one eats rats, and that one can eat rats. Usually eat mice. Um, all species of snakes in the wild depends if they're wild or have to be. They eat different things. Um, the small gondolas of snakes in the wild usually prey on fish, mice, rat, mice, rats, birds, and frogs. Um, larger non of the snakes in the wild, they eat large birds, um, deer, big fish, some eat pigs and crocodiles and alligators, and a lot of them are actually cannibals and eat other snakes that are big. Um, and then the snakes in the wild, small to big, they eat birds, eggs from other animals, and mice. first by striking, wrapping around, and suffocating the animal until it dies. That's painful. But anyway, venomous snakes kill their prey by striking the animal first, really fast, and once their, van their fangs go into the, the flesh of the animal, the venom gets injected, and the, blood's the, the blood in the prey gets all jelly-like, and they, they go into cardiac arrest. Um, okay. It's less painful this way, though. <laughs> this is an example of killing their prey. non snakes. This is a cotton mouth. This one, they call it cotton mouth because it has a white mouth or airway so they can't breathe. But this is an example of how they kill the prey. This is the snakes that are straight from the animal and they jump the People who get bit by these, they take actually snakes from the wild and they take their venom from them and use it to make an antivenom, like antidote. Yeah. Next one. Okay, these are examples of non venomous things. This one is that, and that one is the one that Taylor's holding. These are different teeth. Those teeth are facing backwards so that they can hold on to their prey. And these ones basically work the same way. Non-venomous. Okay, venomous. This is venomous, and um, they have different shaped heads, so you can tell in the wild if they're poisonous or not. So the exception to this is the brown water snake, which actually has that same type of head, so you see this one around. This one, and most of these snakes. Okay, they also have different scale patterns. Um, well, I mean, all snakes have different patterns, even though they may look similar, but they're all different. Um, this one, the scales usually point up at the back. That's a venomous snake. The scales aren't connected to the actual snake. This one is a ball python. This is like this one right here. And the snake, the scales are actually like connected to the snake. The world's most deadly snake is the inland taipan. This snake is most deadly because they alone have killed over 700,000 people in India, Africa, and Asia. Okay. Snakes don't have eyelids. False. 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 False.
but each scale, each eye is covered with the one transparent scale that covers the eye and protects them. So when they're striking a mouse or something, it'll scratch their scratch their eyes, and basically they'll lose eyes in the matter of a month of living. So these scales prevent the eye from drying out like an eye would do. They keep moisture inside their eye. Um, they don't blink because they're on an eyelid, and visually you, can, you think they're sleeping with their eyes open. Um, snake shed, they shed the scale while a new one goes into its place. That's how shedding works. They shed every like once two months, kind of. Yeah. Okay. Here falls. All snake slaves. Oh. Alice. Raise your hand. Okay. You said it, what, Alex? I said Okay. But how many of these true? Garter snakes don't lay eggs. Garter snakes don't lay eggs. Okay. Garter snakes don't lay inside their mother, like children. Um, when they're born, they're covered with a thin membrane. Um, just like, they don't have the, they don't have the leathery part of a snake egg, which usually comes out when they have some eggs. But this is a picture of live birth, and then the snakes, they use a little egg tooth, and they use that to rip out of their sack. Okay. <laughs> They don't have the leathery part of a snake egg, which usually comes out when they have some eggs. But this is a picture of live birds, and then the snakes, they use a little egg tooth, and they use that to rip out of their sack. Okay. <laughs> All right. True or false? Snakes can't hear anything that's going on. Who says true? Okay, who says false? Okay, who has no idea? Alright. Okay, so we put this true. Snakes don't have ears, therefore they can't hear anything going around them. But they have the best sense of vibration of almost any animal. Um, they feel every vibration something or something makes. Some wild snakes and hair mouse take one single step from up to 18 to 800 feet away. So. Yeah. Listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Ari? Do they have long or They don't have they don't long. Have long. No. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no. Okay, Kelly? <laughs> In your body? No. Like, do you, like, have mice to give to the mice? Like, oh, do you, like, have no. Okay, no. We don't, like, keep them at our house. We go to this pet store and buy, like, and mice, like frozen bunnies and rats, and then we bring them home and they feed them. Yeah, they eat like once a week, but she she won't eat for a couple weeks. But and she's fat. She will. Okay. Sebastian. Okay. So they eat like the beginning of the week, and then by about Thursday or Friday they'll be, you know, yeah, they'll let them. Yes. So they don't, they don't, it doesn't have to be alive, obviously, you're giving them frozen money. They, they'll, they'll hunt something that's not moving? Heat it up. Oh, oh. You heat it up, you um, defraud, you put, you fill the sink up or bathroom up with water, and you drop it in, and it'll be warm, and then you kind of wiggle it for them. They won't, hurt. most of the snakes don't really care. I mean, but once you feed them live once, they'll like, oh, I want this again, so, yeah, they, they want this. So when you feed a snake a live, um, like live prey, yeah. a lot of the times they'll get like, I guess more picky, and they won't take frozen food anymore. So like if you start off a snake with live food, you most likely will always have that snake on live food. Any questions? Keegan. So you said that the snake has to be like not part of their skin. So how do they like shed? They shed their skin, they shed their skin inside out. So part of it is connected to this, the venomous snakes we're talking about? The ones that have the scales that are attached to the skin. Okay. So they shed backwards. So the snake will shed from the top and it'll shed inside out from their head. And usually the eyelids will come off first. Out now? Okay. 
and all. Like so 